My king, I bring tidings from the far north, and I fear they may reach you after I have been met in battle. I have followed your orders through the years, building a great army from the scraps available to us in the north. We marched last summer, hoping to be into Bactria by this year, but my spies, it seems, deceived me, sending me reports that the horse lords of Parthia were marching north, away from our borders, and that their sitting capital, Nisa, was undefended. So I changed our march. I admit, against your wishes, my king, but I saw in it the opportunity to secure our borders and lands from the uncivilized horse lovers. For this, I beg forgiveness. But I must assume that that will depend on the manner in which you hear of me next. For our spies were wrong, and the horde is upon us. Legions of rough men and horsemen from the steppe. My army is capable enough, but they are brazenly green, and these men that face us seem almost like beasts to one of Greek sensibilities. So, I send you a message, great Antiochus so that you may pray for a great victory. And in doing so, we can open up the north to trade and commerce, free from the threat of child-sacrificing barbarians. And I also hope that you find it in your heart to forgive me. For it was out of admiration for your conquests and out of concern for my lands and people that I took this road. So I pray you will forgive me, but I know Victory must come first. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. And we've had a couple of quiet episodes in terms of battles, but this one is starting with a bang, a massive battle against the Parthians. I know we reloaded last time. Most of you thought that was absolutely fine as our retreat killed our army for some reason. Um, but yeah, we are coming up against a pretty, pretty hefty army, I've got to say. Their infantry is nothing, really. Problem being with the infantry, um, a lot of it is skirmisher and, and uh, missile based. They've only got two sort of melee infantry. So getting these guys with our own cavalry is going to be hard. We did get some mercenary Sogdi and heavy horse archers, which will help us out. But there's so much good cavalry in here. Parney nobles are unbelievably good. And their general's bodyguards are generally, pardon the pun, very, very, very good. Now, interestingly enough, before I press this play, just to let you guys know, um, I did do the intro before... I played this battle, and I hope you like that little change on the intro. So I'm going to press play, and I'll just talk about that for a little second. So I hope you like that sort of different change. We have been going from the King's um, viewpoint from nearly all the intros so far. Uh, so I thought it'd be nice to just change it up a little bit. There's only so many things you can say as the same person before you're repeating what you say, even based on the gameplay. So there'll be a few more of those added in. Not all of them, of course, will be different. We will be going back to Antiochus's viewpoint probably very soon. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that was the reasoning behind that. And I hope you appreciate that. I hope you like it. But as I said, that intro was done before <laughs> this battle. So I have no idea whether that intro is going to be good or bad or whether it's true or false. Whatever happens, <laughs> we shall see. But it was from the viewpoint of not knowing. That's why I wanted to write it before because I didn't know what was going to happen. So I wanted to write it as if I was before the battle. Um, but we might as well keep talking while we're, while we're loading here rather than waiting for the the load and doing an edit. Uh, but I hope you guys are all doing well. One thing to note on the channel, guys. Lots and lots of new previews for RTR Imperium Surrection. Ver I keep saying Surrection. Surrectum version 0.6 are coming out, so do check them out. All the unit rosters, and there will be some very exciting special previews coming a bit later down the line. So check those out as well if you're enjoying this content. We are in defense. Oh my days, baby! Yes! Yes! Look at this hill! Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
quite excited by the sight of this glorious hill because we never seem to get a hill in our battles. But what a glorious battle map. It is dark. I'm sorry that it's so dark, but the AI did decide to do a night battle. This most definitely is a place to defend this monstrous bit of hillside over here. I'm going to keep my Chalka Speeders on the flank to defend against the cavalry as well as the Theroperoi. They are going to be on fire at will. Uh, in fact, we should probably have our infantry actually on the hill side, a bit further down. Like down there, so we can get our archers a bit further behind. And have that range advantage. Uh, we do have a lot of archers. Now that is fantastic. The problem here is, can they fire over the top? Looks very much like they can. Maybe... On this far right hand side, they can't quite as much. Um, so maybe we should thicken that line up a little bit. Don't want you on fire arrows. Now, cavalry wise, I'm going to just be reactive with my cavalry here, guys. Um, going to be reactive depending on what they're doing. Uh, the Prodromoi, of course, are going to be shredded. These Sogdian horse archers, I am going to, you know, leave them on the hillside on the flank try and do whatever damage they can. They really are sort of a bait unit. And look at that army. It's pretty pretty much all cavalry. And yeah, that's... It's going to be a scary... This is... Yeah, this is going to be a scary battle. And look already how they're trying to flank sort of both sides. Worst case scenario, we just withdraw up the hill a little bit. Redraw those lines. They do look like they are coming towards us slightly. I might just reorganize this part of the line to... Uh, Spread here, and we'll get our Theroperoi around that way. Keep the Sogdians out front. They can do whatever damage they want to. Looking on the mini-map, they are starting to... Uh, oh, they're getting shot quite significantly by our archers. That is fantastic. Yeah, let's keep that up. Oh, they're, getting sh they're getting shredded. They're getting shredded! Come on, the archers! So I think... If we can get rid of those two, that's great. Then we need to restructure our archers to come over this far side. What do they have? The Pawnee Horse Archers. Let me just uh, pause for one second. And let's have a look at the stats of some of these boys. We've not seen them before either. So let's have a look at some of these units. Here we have the Pawnee Nobles. Extremely, extremely good unit. 20 morale. 10 armor, guys. 17 defense skill. Total 27 defense and a charge of 44. As well as 17 missile attack. That is obscenely good. We have the, uh, yeah, that's the Pani Nobles. We've got the Mercenary Saka Noble Cavalry, which are also noble. 16 missile attack on those boys. The Standard Horse Archers, they've got 11, which is still really, really good. Um, so we're going to struggle. We are going to struggle. Let's have a look at some of the other units. We've not actually had a look at these guys before. We have our uh, uh, Hurricanian Foot Archers, which I'm assuming are pretty decent. Yeah, 14 missile attack. Parthia just goes hard on a missile attack. But look at those generals bodyguard. We cannot compete with that really, I guess. I guess uh, we got 34. We got 21 morale, 16 and 34 defense. What do these guys have? 33 defense. So we've actually got more defense even though it looks like we don't. 23 morale though and 18 melee attack. Yeah, we can't quite compete with them on the, uh, in the assault. Uh, but yeah, Asian Slingers as well. We've got some more Dehaean Noble Cavalry, which are fantastic as well. They're just such elite units that they start with, the, the Parthians. They just shred through everyone else. The Light Spearman is not something that we're too bothered about. But the Cataphracts are going to be so scary. Um, let's press play again. Uh, it's hard to even see these guys now. I don't think they're a, a problem anymore. So what we're going to do... We're actually going to retreat slightly to face this right-hand flank. I'm, I don't know. It removes the uh, sort of advantage we have unless we can sort of do this. And I'm not too bothered what those uh, horse archers are planning now. Uh, and these Chalka Speeders are taking some damage. Oh, the, uh, the horse archers are fully just destroyed here. So let's get it back across. Get our Theroperoi across this side. 
We're getting our archers firing into the nobles. Wait, one was down to five. Two. Wow, these guys are doing some damage. There's some serious, serious damage there. That is fantastic. Let's get my cavalry all on the right flank because that is where the majority of the enemy cavalry are right now. Problem being here is, again, we're kind of not on quite on the hill, so I might have to come down it slightly again. And then get our archers further forward as well. But it, they need to be on this right-hand flank at the minute. Get over there to start firing into those, into those fools on our right flank. We'll bring our guys back. I'm going to try and take my uh, generals out of uh, range of their horse archers. Because, of course, yeah, now our Sogdians are getting absolutely shredded by these boyos. So, as soon as you're ready, guys, I want you to start firing. We are starting to do some damage, though. Look at that. We're really doing some damage. What is our missile attack of 10? But it's just the amount of archers. That's why we got so many archers on this side. As Who's that? Two horse archers are across here. Not bothered about that. Not too worried. Yeah, Prodromoy, start firing your javis in there, my friends. They don't like that at all, do they? Come on, boys. Kill these horse archers. It's what we need. And we've really not taken that much damage. A couple of units. Obviously, the Sogdians have taken the majority of the damage here. And that's really what they're there for. Are they coming to engage us now, though? This is a real test. How strong are our Hoplites in the line? They've got skirmishers. They, I'm thinking... Yeah, they're going to they're gonna start firing Javis. We just need to wait until they get a bit closer, and then we can charge the whole line down the hill. Okay, that's their main general. Let's go and try and capture capture him then. Um, that's 100% going to be a uh, really good move if we can... He's routing already. He routes. What a fool. <clears throat> the one thing you've got to remember is these guys are really slow. That is the one problem that they have. Now, on this left flank, I think it's time to charge down the hill, is it? No, I think we've still got to wait. Ah, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Charge through here. Charge through. Go through your men. Yeah, keep firing, boys. Keep firing. I'm not bothered about friendly fire right now. It really doesn't matter. What matters is beating this army back. And at the minute, we've killed a lot more than they have. We really haven't been engaged in melee just yet. But this is not doing a huge amount of damage, this Javi, uh, Javi attacks. Mainly because of our 7 shield and 7 armor. 14 armor against missiles, which is fantastic. And that was a terrible charge by the other general there. I'm sure his other general is going to come back. But I would really like to kill him if it's possible. Surely he's going to come back. Hmm. You can see these guys. They're going in. They just went in for a little dabble of a charge there. Let's get you forward again, Sogdians. You guys need to be on fire at will. I'm not sure why you weren't. I thought I put you on fire at will, but obviously not. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's really good. If we can kill some of these generals, that might even destroy Parthia, because I don't think they start with a lot of generals at the start. Now this flank, it's time for us to go. Let's get rounds. And we'll get our Theropoi round as well. I think it's time to try and catch this infantry unawares. This is a problem here. We need to save cavalry. If we can save our cavalry, that's going to be the main thing. Uh, but let's get into that Parthian general's bodyguard. In fact, fire your javis first, boys. Here they come. The Hay and Noble cavalry. Let's get round. Let's get round. Come on, we need to flank these boys. This is gonna. That was a huge charge. And here comes the cataphracts. No, no. That is not something we want to see. We need to surround them and engage them instantly. Come on, boys. Let's go. This is really the test of whether we're going to win this battle now. The Asian light spearmen are trash, so I'm not bothered about them. Let's, uh, well, we can surround them, actually. That would be good. Archers, keep firing, my boys. This is really going to be uh, important. Do we get the cavalry in? I need it to chase down his, his light troops. But how much cavalry does he really have left now? 
He's got his cataphracts over here. They're taking some damage, though. So are the no uh, mercenary De Hayans. But, oh, here comes another general. Yeah, we're going to have to. Cavalry, let's get here. Let's get here, boys. To hell with the uh, horse archers. You guys should be firing on those horse archers. If you can't, I'm very upset. Come in. We need to do a big charge right in the back of these guys and save our infantry. They've taken some serious damage. Okay, they, they've broken. They've broken. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, the boys. Let's go. We, we can still do this. Yes, they're starting to break. They're withdrawing. Withdrawing. They've, they've lost. Yes, come on. Die, Parthia. Die. 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 Sorry. Um, just got a bit overexcited. <laughs> uh, we should use our archers to chase down these troops because they are fast. We did lose a Theroporoi. One of our Theroporoi did start routing there. Now, we're not going to be able to catch his cavalry, although it's cataphracts, maybe. You go after them. And then these guys who go after just infantry. Just chase them down. Where's the rest of my men? We've got you, you. Where are you? You're in there. I think it's more important you come forward. What's this? Yeah, broken them. Let's come forward as well. How many have they got left? 30%. We need to do a lot more damage. You get in there. Yeah, come on. Let's keep going, boys. Keep going. Where are the archers? Get in there. Come on. This cavalry is so slow. Come on, boys. I know you got a lot of armor, but you need to speed up. <laughs> like, slower than archers, bro. Yes, keep it coming, boys. You get in there. Yes, going for the charge. Yep, let's go. How much have we killed now? Well, that will be with people routing. That's a problem. Now, I'm thinking they're going to retreat to Nisa, but that's actually great for us. Because keeping that all that cavalry inside a settlement is going to be hugely beneficial. Keep it going. We're going to wipe the floor with as many of these boyos as we can. Do not want to deal with them. Yeah, you should actually probably just fire your missiles. Killing a few of my generals, bodyguard, won't matter as long as you don't kill my actual general. Yeah, they're firing at those boys now. Should, should just shoot them down. Good. What a glorious victory. Come on. Yes. I'm so happy with that. Oh, what a great battle as well. What a great battle. The AI. Those archers. The archers were just the saving grace. I know it doesn't seem like they've done a lot of damage. Like huge amounts of damage. But that was all high-level, high-value troops that would have done so much damage. Um, maybe I'm a bit more scared of Parthia than I need to be. I know early game, they're so strong. But we're, you know, we're, we're not mid... We're coming up towards the mid-game. So maybe this is the point where we start to uh, overtake the Parthians in terms of power. Well, I mean, we are more powerful than them in terms of our military but anyway, guys, I will see you on the, on the campaign map. What a glorious, glorious battle. Here we are, guys. Glorious, glorious victory. It looks like they did retreat to Nisa. Um, that's fine. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Because I want to I capture them inside the city. The one thing I am worried about, though, is... I believe Parthia might have a scripted army. Um... Okay. Yep, we'll take you, my friend. Please tell me you're not in the middle of... Uh, over here. <laughs> oh, Bella has grown as well. Great. Become a city for me. Fantastic. Well, let's um, go back to this guy. Uh, yeah. Now, where do we not have a general? Pretty much got one everywhere, haven't we? Some of these places are pretty unhappy as well. Got one everywhere. 
We don't on these islands, but... Oh, here we go. Sea Day. Isn't this a minor city as well? So, that's a good option. It's got one influence. 67% is not great. Um, let's go for the large temple of Hera there. Starting to make some proper money now as well. Now, that's going to come down because... We're going to just bash them away. Oh, we can do a draw-out battle. Are you kidding me? This could not get much better. Um, sorry, I'm getting so excited here. I'm going to take this 19-year-old Adi uh, Manthos. For he... I hope he has a trait that... Yeah, he's Greek. He's on the border. Yeah, he... Uh, he doesn't have an eastern trait or anything like that. I was hoping he would have some sort... Where have all the mercenaries gone? No! The Parthians have scooped them up. Well, we're going to do that battle. But first of all, let's see what we want to do. 68% here. We need to get... Yeah, definitely that second level of Temple of Hera. How are we looking down in these areas as well? That's getting upgraded. That's fantastic. Do we want to start recruiting some more troops? I think we do. I think we just get another, like, four Greek hoplites and see whether we can bring them up. Oh, it's still rioting over here. That's not ideal. It's really, really not ideal. Where has your influence gone, Perseus? What if we take Perseus out? Maybe... He's causing the unrest. No, he's actually helping quite significantly. Um, do we have... Yeah, let's... Get one of those boys down there. That should help out really quite a lot. Um, how are we looking over this region? Looking quite good. Zadra Carter. Yeah, these... We've, we've really sort of um, not built up in this region just because, of course, the corruption... Now, <sighs> Mosca Flacker told me how much corruption can go up to. I can't remember what the exact amount is. I think it's 50%. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my hat on 50%. Um, so, at the minute, we're only on about 10% corruption. So, we're actually not too bad over in this region. Uh, now, from playing a couple of other games, I know there are some settlements here. We've seen this one. I thought there was three. So I've obviously missed a couple, but it might be up in this region. It doesn't look like there's a border there, though. I, I don't know. Maybe I was playing on the new patch. Oh, God, maybe I was. Sounds very likely. Um, got these guys. Get them retrained. So... Yeah, we've got Antiochus over here as well. And Tyker's the Great, I think we can start calling him now. We will auto-resolve those small ones. There is no point anymore doing those small ones. That should stop this army attacking here. Now we've taken this. It's Greek as well. That is fantastic. The one problem you get with this by doing that is, of course, um, it destroys a lot of buildings that you wouldn't destroy if you were sieging it down yourself. Uh, another town has grown. Alexandria Charax. Cool. Fantastic. Now, let's have a look. Uh, we need some more of the old Akontistai to follow us along, really. So that's the next one we want to go for. I believe this region is the same as this region. Yeah. So it's a massive region. So we're really not too bothered about that one. We want to just keep coming down the Nile. We only got to there with our spy. So, okay, there's the other one that, that branches off. So let's come back up. We want to just come down the Nile and really just put the hammer down on the Ptolemies now. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll leave you behind. Get that on. Oh, it is on low. That's going to help the order. I think it'll be back to being fine again. And they, the Ptolemies are really, they're just, they're just done. There is nothing left. Really, for the Ptolemies in these lands. I've actually noticed that Pergamon didn't declare war on us that time around, which is slightly weird. Slightly annoying, actually, as well. 
Now, over this region, we were recruiting some Akontistai to fulfill the garrisons. Um, but look at this army. It is it is pretty mashed up. I want the elephants at the back because I don't want to lose any more of those than we need to. Um, we've got a ship there. We've got this ship here. We've got those two there. That's Pergamon. So I think it's just those last two. I don't want to risk it. If we could get off the boat this turn, it would be great. If not, we're not going to risk it. Uh, get that down to low. That is quite a good settlement. We have Shrine Tahira here as well. Yeah, it's a decent settlement. All these like coastal settlements are going to be fantastic for us. Oh, it looks like we can. I think we go for it then. Oh, yeah, it was the other one that there was about a million... Oh, wait, it doesn't even have a, uh... doesn't even have some walls. <laughs> Enslave those boyos. And get round into the port. I think we should probably build some walls. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Uh, get them on low. Destroy this. Yeah, Greek as well. Fantastic. So, plan is, we'll come onto this island, we'll try and kill all those generals that they have. They've got loads of them. Um, and then, we will send them back to Sardis for retraining. Now, in Sardis, yeah, let's build the Hippodrome. We want to start being able to get Zistaphoroi, don't we? 100%. Got the large temple of Hephaestus as well. Now, I believe we can't get the next level of Blacksmith. Without having a market or above. So we want that and then... Yeah, we'll, uh, let's not queue that in yet. Right, let's go through our angry cities. Let's go based on public order. Turn it the other way. Oof! That's not a good map to look at, is it? <laughs> really not. <laughs> it's really, really not a good map to look at. And you're telling me out of all these buildings, I have nothing that's going to give me happiness. Really. We are Greek right now. Thracian. Ah, uh, yeah. Where is that unrest coming from? Hmm. Religion differs from settlements. Official religion. So I think we need to we need to build that. That should bring them back. I think we'll just go through the list rather than trying to do it every time. Hmm. Heropolis. Wait, we're at Anazabas. Anazabas isn't writing right now. Oh, I really wish I had some buildings that gave... I guess the... Oh, no, the... Uh, yeah, the military buildings do. I keep forgetting that. I need to build some military buildings in these places. Just to get that law. So, let's do that. Let's look for some more unhappy places. Harmosia. Of course, the sewer is going to be the best option there. Uh, Biz Poutis. Yeah, unhappy. Let's... Yeah, let's build that for the law. And Gadara. Again, just on the cusp. God damn it, bro. I think we go for that one. We've got a lot of unhappy settlements right now, and I hope I don't get mass riots like we've had before. We've got Thyatira. Let's go for the Temple of Hera as well. <sighs> yeah, some very, very, very unhappy places. Build that for the law. Heropolis. Repair that. That's definitely going to help. And then I think, again, we go for the law from the archery range, etc. Ah, we're starting to get more and more Greek places, though. That does really, really help us out. And then the rest of our money, 6,800 that we have. What are we doing up in this region? Getting another Zista 4. I sort those units out, please. That was horrendous to look at. So we're going to have four Zista 4. We're going to have two Prodromoi, one Archer, some Chalka Speeders. I think it's Archers we need then after this. Can we recruit Archers anywhere else? Hmm. Looks like we can just recruit archers here. Let's go for four of those. And then we'll be ready to send young Antiochus out. So we've got seven management. He's pretty good. He's an optimist. 
Sharp. Just continuing the line of warlords that we have. Logistics expert plus two morale. That is fantastic. Yeah, he's good. He is good. And he will be good. This one has upgraded. Let's go for that. That really leaves us with nothing. Now we have another battle to do, don't we? You're going across this way. If a scripted army turns up here, I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> so upset. I'm going to be so upset. What unit did we actually lose there? We lost a full unit. Well, did we have... No, we didn't have a space. We definitely lost a unit there. I don't know. Must have been a hoplite, I think. Because I'm pretty sure we only had two Theroperite. Don't think it was an archer. Oh, it's the Prodromoi. That's what we lost. Cool. Right. Let's go for this battle. We've got our Sarkis, the Cunning. Ten command, ten influence. And if we can kill him, it's going to be fantastic. Four of their generals. Again, now the plan for this battle is just going to be peppering them with shot. That is literally it. That's the plan. Peppering them with our archers because they don't actually have much response to that anymore. It's all gone. It's all gone. Right then, guys. I will see you on another glorious Parthian battle map. Here we are, guys. Oh, it's a tree map. I'm gonna wait. There we are. That's a bit... I did like the sort of sunset sunrise, but yeah, that's a bit brighter. We can see a little bit more. Now, fighting... It's a tiny, tiny battle map as well. Is it? I don't know, maybe I'm just so zoomed out. But yeah. Honestly, infantry, we're just going to march in a big block. Not going to be too spread out. Cavalry, we're going to have you on the side. I can't be too confident still. That is the, the one thing. Still got to be very wary of what the Parthians can offer here. And what they can offer is utter destruction. And they're coming from the left. They're coming from over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to plonk ourselves over this way. And I think... Yeah. Do we have greater range than those boys? We've got 130. What do the uh, spearmen... They've got 160. That's quite an obscene amount of range. So we're going to use the Sogdians against the cavalry force. Rather than any other force that they have offering. Um, and we're going to try and get our archers in on that action quite quickly. Although, if I had the Prodromoi, I would have gone for a charge there quite quickly. Oh, the Spearman archers, though, are decent. I'm going to try and get you forward as quick as we can. Make sure you guys are on fire at will. And we just need to make sure that we really get them stuck fighting us, honestly. I don't want them to withdraw again, because then we're just extending everything out a bit too far. Uh, where are you, the Sogdians? There they are. Keep coming forward, my boys. Let's go. Yeah, get firing on that sack of cavalry if you can. There we are. Starting to fire. Getting some good shots off. Oh, look at these two cataphracts. They're coming in for some fun. Come on, the boys. I think they're going to beat us with those two. Interesting. Let's get behind our lines. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with them. I want my infantry to deal with them. And here are those two generals coming in? They are. There is one general. Get you off that. Oh, she's going for a big charge there. Monstrous charge. I'm going to have to get you in. If he charges with them. We need to be in position to take advantage of it. Oh, he's gone for the charge on us. Okay. You, if you can get around them, that would be great. Just really want to just hold them in here. That was a big charge by his general. And that is our Saki. He's one of, the, one of his great generals. Oh, God. Poor Adiminthos is dying. This is what happens when we don't soften them up a little bit first. And we need to get out of there. We are dying severely. 
getting shredded there. You see the Parthian general. Get out, get out, boys. Just come around. I think we'll be faster than them, so I don't think we need to worry too much. But that's brutal. That's a brutal start. And if, if needs be, we will charge our Sogdians into them. You now get in the back of those mercenary Asian skirmishers. Keep firing, guys. Keep firing. That's what's going to save us in this battle. Right, Sogdians, you're going to have to... Oh, is that Osaki's dying? Oh, no, that's a different general. Right. Right, boys. Get round. Let's go. Get back in. They don't have that many troops left. That is that is the glorious thing here. i just worried they're going to start withdrawing at any point. And we need to kill all these generals. He's going for the charge on the, uh, the poor archers who are unprotected right now on that flank. Let's get here. We'll do our charge from across here. See whether we can charge in and destroy him. Come on, Spearman. We need you in there. Let's go for the charge. Let's go for a rally before the charge as well. Rally the boys. So our general isn't destroyed. Oh, come on. This is a chance to kill a great Parthian warlord here. The king of the Parthians, the chief. The big chief of the Parthians is going to fall. Surely we've got him. Surely we've got him. Come on. Two left. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yes. Oh, Parthia, you have been served, my friends. You have been served. Let's go. You've been served notice. Oh, that's annoying. That's the general. Yeah, I want all you archers to fire at him now. Fire. Just fire. I want him dead. I want him dead. Got another general to contend with, though. Fire. Kill him. Right. Let's go for the charge. I've got a bit of... We've got a bit of confidence now. Now, this charge might not be amazing. Oh, that's a rubbish charge. Guys, what is that? You missed him. If they go for the charge in on us, that's fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic opportunity. Let's go, boys. Charge properly. That That's not the charge we wanted nor needed. Have we killed this other general yet? I believe we have. Is that all of... No, there was four generals. There was four generals. This unit has taken an absolute battering here. Today, what's this unit? Slingers, that's fine. Let's go. Let's get you guys. You guys. Archers, where are you? Let's fire at the... Those guys, the Spearman Archers. They're actually quite a very decent unit. Is that the other one? Yes! Okay, we've got the four generals now dead. So let's march... On the rest of his army. What are you? Asian light spearmen should be light work for my hoplites. So should all these guys. We need to kill as many as we can though. Get into there. Right. Sogdians. Go after them. Probably with you. Uh, you. Seven. I can't see any of their units. This is the problem. What are you? You're getting chased. Yeah, I think you just go for them as well. Right, let's let's just finish these guys off. Make sure that we can. Keep going. Glorious, glorious. Two battles in a row. Fantastic. I mean, this battle was a bit easier. Well, quite a lot easier, really. Due to our victory in the first one. But I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain. That has been a glorious, glorious battle. Oh, fantastic. I was so worried about fighting Parthia as well. So, so worried. And we just got a bit of luck with that hill. I think if we were, if we didn't have that hill, that would be quite a different story because our archers would not have been able to fire over in that first battle. But everyone doing okay? Archers again coming in ham. Ah, I'm so happy with these archers right now. I'm hoping they're getting experience, which they are a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, everyone doing quite well. Well done, guys. Well done. That Theroporoi got shredded on a couple of charges, but it allowed us to kill our Sarkis, the king of the Parthians, the big chief. Yes, come on. I will see you on the campaign map, guys, where hopefully Nisa is ours. Glorious victory, guys. Glorious. And I'm hoping that by taking this now, it's not going to spawn that army. Let's see. Oh, God. Glorious. And it's a minor city as well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, they've got a lot of upgrades in here, actually. Temple of Spenta. That's not something we want, actually. In fact, we want the shrine to here straight away. Going to destroy that. Oh, that is fantastic. Mm. Not fantastic with the rioting that's going on in our provinces right now. But, oh well. You need to get there. Now the question is, who do we leave behind? You meanies. You are my uh, big boy over here. Can you treat... Yeah, so we've got Eumenes, we've got Adeimanthos, and we've got Seleucos. Seleucos is a bit older. Uh, so we might be able to just leave Seleucos behind. So what if... I'm just going to test this. We're not going to leave right now. Oof. Yeah, 15% is not great. I think we're going to have to sit here for a little bit. It's not ideal, really. Uh, but getting those hoplites. Let's also play with the ex uh, experience a little bit. These guys don't have any experience, so... Um, what is it? Press... Control to drag. I didn't give them any experience either. I was hoping it might have given them an extra bit of experience. But... Can we spread that experience around? Oh, there we can. We've got an 80 unit with experience now. It's better than a 28 with no experience. Uh, better than a 28 with experience. So, a little bit of extra experience gained. Um, I feel like we should have got some more experience from those battles. God damn it. They were brutal. Fantastic, though. Glorious. Now, let's uh, see where we want to build. We'll build in Alusa. A little large town over here. Build that. And, yeah, let's have a look. Gadara is building. Ah, uh, we need to... Could I take you out of Samaria? We can. Okay, good. Yep, you're a bit happy now. Bostra is there. Got our spy over here. That's Bostra. I'm sure oh, that's Palmyra. There is another settlement out here, though, right? Oh, am I wrong? Or have I already taken it? Hmm. I don't know. You've moved. I know... <sighs> Let's get rid of that. I know there are settlements down the Arabian coast. I don't think the Ptolemies have any of them. They do maybe start with a couple on this side? I can't remember. Hmm. Well, where are you going then, my friend? I think over here, just to check that there's no more rebel settlements in this region. Just come across that way. Uh, Antiochus, yeah, you've moved. Right, let's have a look over here. Can we move these boyos now? Yes. Can? Will one Ant Acontistai be enough? Oh, no, we've already, we've just taken that. How much lore does that give? 5% happiness. Oh, that was stupid of me. Anyway, send the turn. See what happens. Okay, we have been kicked out of that region. That's something I think we're going to have to do. We will definitely take it back, and I think we'll exterminate it. Uh, and that should just help with public order quite a bit. I'll leave that uh, those troops there just for now. Just to see uh, what they're doing. The rebels might come out and attack us. That, that might be a, a little bit of an issue, but... <sighs> not not great. I'm hoping it's just one civil result, revolt. Yeah. Antiochi Marginai. And uh, we've got civil disorder in a few other places. That's 70% now, so they can still rebel on that. Uh, but let's go straight for that shrine to Hera. Then Harmosia. 
This one is quite a bit more of an issue. But that should bring us up into happiness. And then Nicomedia is also quite a big issue. Um, we do have a lot of men there as well. Anywhere that's a bit happy that can give us some more. Having to put a lot of garrisons in these places. That's really hampering our income, as you can see. We've got you. Not completed. That's fine. Maybe we've got too many generals now. We've got a few towns that have grown. That's fantastic. Gives us a lot more building options to keep these guys happy. So, and Uruk has expanded. Fantastic. We are the richest faction, apparently. So, the AI not doing too well on uh, monetary situations when we're the richest faction with 40,000 a turn. That is not a huge amount. <laughs> so, but oh well. Right, over here. How happy are they? They are a bit happy. Uh, let's get you, sneak you guys across. I thought they had like seven guys on here, but it doesn't actually look like they've got that many now. And uh, we'll go for that. I think we will fight that as a battle. Uh, if I can get my ship back into the port. I think we will fight that as a battle, just because I want to kill all these generals and make sure they all die. Um, we don't have anyone to leave in there now as well. That's kind of a bit of a problem. Go for the Shrine to Hero because I can imagine the corruption's pretty large yet. So you can say 50%, I believe, is the largest corruption that we can get. So, yeah. That is pretty much the most corruption um, we have there. Quite significant. Right then, down the Nile. Let's talk about the Nile, shall we? Let's go for another... Yeah, that's not going to be worth... Enslave again. We didn't get any towns growing from that. We need somewhere where we can recruit Akontistai. We need a big army of Akontistai, basically. <laughs> let's get rid of you. Uh, let's repair that. It's a minor city as well, which is pretty good. These both are minor cities. Uh, I thought we would have repaired that. Interesting. Let's go for that. Uh... We have a recruitment here in Memphis. Let's go for the uh, big Akontistai spam. Now, there's this settlement down over here, Zessis. Hmm. We could go straight for Hermu Polis. I think we go for Zessis. It's a large town. I mean, that's a large city. So, the Ptolemies still have a bit. But they are just, just pretty much dead at this point. And we will take Zessis. I don't believe they've got one out there in the desert. And I don't think there are many settlements out there in the desert, in fact. So, yeah, we'll come up north. Yeah, we'll come back up north. And you can see this region blends into that one. Let's see. So, yeah. So, this is the next region that we need to have a look at. And they do have a few sort of colonies out this way. Down here, maybe. But... We're going to have to have a look when we do our toggle fog of war next uh, next turn. Oh, hello, Axilus. You're just walking around my lands. I don't like that. <laughs> I really do not like that at all. And this army, all it's doing is going to go for Raithu. And then it's going to be sent north. And I don't know exactly where in the north we're going to send it. Hmm. I'm a bit annoyed that I can't leave Seleucos in here. If he had a bit more influence, it would be okay. 30% now. It's gonna get it's gonna get better over time. We need more and more stuff that's gonna help us. Go for the shrine to Hephaestus. I think we're gonna delete that. So we can actually upgrade the other temples that we have. And yeah, Temple to Hera is just the best one we have available right now. But for now, that's going to be... Yeah, that's only a 5% increase. So is that. Oh, well. We'll build the Shrine to Hera then. Any, yeah, I need to have a look at some of these buildings. Any of them that are not useful to us. I mean, the Warlord's Herd's 36% tax income bonus. I'm going to keep that. I know we can't upgrade it or anything, but fine. I'm going to keep that, definitely. So, that should be their other 
their other uh, lands. So that's ours. That's rebel definitely here. So the Parthians didn't take this region. That looks rebel as well. Yes. I think this is their only other region. Oh, we could get rid of them so early. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, that would be absolutely superb. Right, let's go through some of the angry places again. We'll start at the bottom. We're all looking okay so far. Yeah, you're building. Heropolis is also building, trying to solve that. You're building. How about Katayon? Only 67. Let's get that Temple of uh, Hera. And then we got Seleucus Clydimos. Let's go for that. Uh, Alexandria, Carmania. God, you've got a lot of upgrades and <laughs> you're still unhappy. Let's go for that one then. Cool. Right, let's build in some of our richer regions. So we'll go for thinking... Yeah, let's get up with the Shrine to Tyke over here. Uh, Antioch. Hmm. Go for the sewers. Uh, Damascus. What do we want at Damascus? Potentially. Hmm. Let's go for the market. And then Odessa. Let's have a look. Probably the trade caravan. Antioch. My Migdonia. <laughs> right. Let's go for the vineyard there. Susa is a large city now. That is fantastic. Let's go for the Great Agora. And then Ephesus. Go for that second level of Temple of Hera. Sagalassus. So cheap to get these temples in, so we might as well. And then over here, let's get the farming. Now, yeah, I keep losing track of where we are because we've got so much to do in each turn. So, we are attacking Naxos now with that army. This army is sitting in Nisa. This army is on the way to there. Spy. My lord. Okay, yeah, there is a uh, settlement over here called Katara. I'm sure there's another one around this region. There's definitely a few down the coast down here, so we'll keep on going. Um, and then this spy. Keep on having a look through these settlements. If there are any. Mm. Doesn't look like there's one there. But we'll come down probably this way, I guess. Our empire is now pretty vast, as you can tell. Do we have to... Do we want to be recruiting any more troops for this army? Ideally, archers, honestly. We've got no archers in that army. Also, no cavalry. It's a pretty hefty army. Ariathus the Conqueror. What a man. Um, so Sardis. Oh, we've got a couple of archers there. So let's go for one more and then let's end the turn. Okay, we're having a look at Bactria there. Okay, you've gone into there to keep it happy. Good. We've got so many generals. <laughs> it's obscene. It is obscene the amount of generals we have. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, Bactria, what do you want? You want a ceasefire, I'm guessing. The bloodshed. For now, I'm actually going to accept that. Oh, thanks. Give me map information, though. I'll give you mine. The most generous proposal. Uh, how about trade rights? We'll trade with you. Get as much milk as much money out of that trade for a little while as possible. Um, I'm sure. I I know. I know they wanted peace after they just literally they tried to siege down the city twice. <laughs> <laughs> and got their rams blown up twice. And then their whole army blew up as well, which is slightly weird, but oh well. Helped us out in the long run. Oh my god, we've got a lot of people coming of age. Adramarkos, which honestly, I'm thinking about leaving here because Cakes is a bit old. So is Xenocratis. So I think we might leave you there as well. What about Charax the Handsome? Oh, we've got so many people in Seleucia. Uh, anti Bactria, yeah, let's think, if I, yeah, hmm, I'm not so sure what I want to do with Antipatros, 
I think we take you to Tagai for now, and then if that guy dies in there and they become unruly, we can send you back across. It's it's nearly one turn of movement. It's not too much. Uh, Andrew Marcos. We've got loads in Seleucia, though. A lot of these guys are getting old now, though, so when they die, we'll be able to replace all of them. We were starting to build an army here. Not worked so well so far, has it? Um, I think we don't need to. I think that's a bit too much money to spend on literally just desert settlements that are not going to bring us that much. They're only towns, see? I will take them at some point, but not yet. Not yet. It's not worth it yet. I, I mean, the, the next place we want to go is, of course, Greece. But we do have an army in Sardis ready to do that, so that's fine. Building a lot. Cool. Let's get over to Greece. And let's go for the battle, I guess. Let's finish on a battle. So many, so many. Three, four, five, six, seven bodyguards. This army's so experienced, though. We're going to have a field day. <laughs> This is going to be the death, <laughs> the killing of so many family members of the Ptolemies all in one. That'll be fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. We will feast and drink. Tonight, we will tell each other tales of our bravery. Yes, but we will. That, we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of Alexander. Yes. Fantastic. Let's go. Um, now, unfortunately, we can't do the normal strat. So we will be going up with infantry. But actually, to be honest, the Theroperoi are definitely a better option here because they can fire Javis down. Don't think... Right. Why does it just give it to random people? Uh, you guys go up there. I don't think think they've got enough I don't think they've got any infantry so just those two should be enough um, so you two get you here then what we're gonna do ideally is we're just gonna get inside the settlement set up with our Chalka speeders ready to fight and just kill their cavalry with that I don't think we uh, need to worry too much the Chalka speeders should do an absolutely fantastic job so, yeah, they're all coming. They're all going to get into the city. That's fine, because we can just crush them with our Chalka Speeders, which will be great fun. What are you? General's bodyguard taking some damage here. Get up on the walls, my boys. You guys go that way. You guys, let's go. Let's get you through here. So they start firing on the general's bodyguard. Gods, our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Yep, taking that. Now, just you guys, just stop and get you on fire at will. You guys, come round as well. Now, Chalka Speeders time. I don't think we're going to need anyone else, so they can just march slowly. And this general's just going to take a bit. Oh, Kate, 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 stop. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice that for a second. But I don't know what they're doing. Like, do they think they're going to win this or what? Wait. Oh, they charged. They must have charged already. God damn it. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even notice. The great thing about this is they're going to retreat into the middle of the city. And that's where we can kill them all. <laughs> uh, do I want to go tell you what? You guys just get up there. You guys come that way. And then we'll speed it up. I want this guy to really lead the way over this way. With probably backup of 40. Then we're going to send you around to this way. 
Then we're going to send you around to this way. Okay. Oh, interestingly enough. Uh, halt. Nope, they're going to run. That's fine. Get here, 102. Oh, no, no, no. You're still going around this way. Sorry. Yeah, go there. That's fine. Uh, you guys, again. Let's get you around here. And then the 40 and the 68, I guess, can come this way. That's fine. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm not the Ellie's. <laughs> I keep messing that up. Hopefully, he doesn't kill any of the Ellie's. We still have the full amount of Ellie's, you can see now, because... Wait, maybe one less. I think you start with 12. But they just don't have the troops on them anymore to fire the arrows, which is fine. There we are. It's another one of his generals dead. And that's them all dead. What is he sending around this way? I mean... Just going to take that as a free opportunity, right? Greek Peltas, Akantistai, and General's Bodyguard. He's got that. More General's Bodyguard. They should be getting shot to pieces now. So all the uh, all the people they send around, we're just going to charge them and kill them. Problem here being is... Where's my guys here? There they are. Are they going that way? Cool. Good. Send you up this way. And then you guys can wear that. Can do the phalanx and we'll send you up this way. Now, you guys can come here. Ideally. Okay, another... Yeah, another one is has come around. I don't know what they're doing. But we're going to charge them nonetheless. Ha! <laughs> they're just going to be getting shot by these towers. As they walk around. I don't know what they're doing. If I was them, I would have come into the city. But I know we are kind of... Uh, Locking them off. But let's speed it up. We don't need to be spending too long on this, do we? Uh, they're going to come into the, the main square. That's fine. Oh, well, who are you? You are Peltas and Akontistai. I think we can do a charge against them. Yeah, one of them's routing already. The other one should route quite quickly. They'll be getting shot to pieces. Everyone going around is just getting shot to pieces. That's great. Well, these Peltas are actually putting up a bit of a fight. There. Now you guys there. Now we're going to do the big squeeze. The big squeeze. Here it comes. Uh, who else do I have to worry about? You. And then there's another bodyguard over here. Getting shot to pieces. <laughs> They're fighting to the death. That shouldn't be too much of a concern. All right, we'll come back. One problem is if they both attack at the same time, we might have a little bit of an issue. But apart from that, we should be absolutely fine. You guys come. You guys come forward. You guys come forward. You guys come. Oh, God. They're so out of formation. Oh, that's still done a huge amount of damage, though. I love that. Now we go for the squeeze. Right there. Go, 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 go. Be quick. See, this is what happens when they're not in phalanx. Get into phalanx, for fuck's sake. God damn it, bro. <laughs> See, this one got shredded. This one, nothing happened. Who are you? I think we go for them. Go 
go for them. We should be attacking them. Still need to kill the other general before we take the city. There we are. This is just a slaughter. This is a brutal slaughter. We have lost 10% of our men, though. Get them. We've still got another general to contend with from somewhere. It's another general. We've got you. And just this guy. Let's go. Everyone, get your spears into him. I don't know what the AI was doing in this battle, honestly. Not the right thing, anyway. <laughs> if they really wanted to contend with me, the only way they could have is if they'd attack me all at once with the other ones. But yeah, good, fantastic. We have beaten them. Ariathus the Conqueror has conquered once again. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and Naxos is now ours, and of course we're going to enslave. Um, right, destroy the Ptolemaic recruitment. It's Greek as well, fantastic. Stick it down to low. Minor city, fantastic. And yeah, trying to hear it. Yeah, some big corruption. Big, big corruption in all these regions. Right, let's spend our 40,000 coins. I don't believe the Ptolemies have any more regions over here, but next episode we're going to do a toggle of fog of war. So we will see. This army needs to return for retraining. It is so damaged, as you can see, but so experienced as well, which is fantastic. Um, we do have you. We were training these guys. Yeah, let's uh, let's bring this Akontistai forward. They can we can drop one off there for Kos, and we can drop one off for Naxos as well. Uh, we don't need three then, do we? Hmm. Well, oh well, that's fine. They've moved now. Uh, up in the north, what are we gonna do? Let's have a look. Gonna keep looking for um, mercenaries. <sighs> Not available. God damn it. It is highly annoying that that became a rebel settlement, but oh well. Now we can see whether. Yeah, this is the Parthian capital now, so. And that's gotta be their last settlement, surely. I mean, we can actually see on the rankings, can't we? Um. I will actually, we'll do toggle, we'll do like a bit of a review next episode. Let's go for territorially. It's gotta be, that's gotta be one. I, I don't know. I don't know, can't tell, but it's gotta be one, surely. I mean, they've got an army over here, but there's not much left, is there? There's not much left of them after those two big battles. Glorious, fantastic. Right, what can we build? Oh, we can actually upgrade you, so let's do that. Let's build the uh, that over there. Let's build a vineyard. I think, yeah, a lot of these places that are so far out need to start building, like, military buildings so they get more law. Um, so let's build around this region for a little bit. There's a ship right there, and that's nice. We'll take that. Go with that. And then up here, large town. Go for the farming. And let's build some more farming there. Down here. Let's go for Apamea. Go for some farming. All these places just don't have anything really built. They're so far away from anything else that it's... It's just hard to build anything around here. Uh, Susa's not, though. So we should probably build around the Babylon area again. All the places are not building because this is our money-making area, isn't it? Let's go for farming. How much money does that actually make, that farming? I mean, like 150-ish, just below. For 1,000, that's, that's 10 turns it's going to pay for itself. That's actually, that's really good. Can't complain about that whatsoever. 
Um, how much does the market make, on the other hand? Yeah, not quite as much, but we do need the market to build other buildings, so we will build that. Um, I think we go for the academy in Babylon so that our governor can get better. How about Is. Build the sewers for that population growth. And Bertha, let's build the... See what the Agora does here. 100 and 102. 42 turns to pay for itself is not good. That's so much better. Let's go for that. 350, and it costs nearly... Yeah, that's another ten, less than 10 turns on that one. So let's build that, and let's build the farming over here. And let's build the Shrine to Tyke at Arapa. Cool. We are in a fantastic situation, guys. Let's have a look at our map. Keep, keep zooming out. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, here we are. So we did lose Zranka. I do remember that. There is an absolute ton. Ton of uh, settlements over this region. So eventually that will be a goal of us. I don't think we'll ever fully conquer this region before the end of the game. But we'll go further than Alexander did, hopefully. Um... And, yeah, Bactria up here. We know where they... Oh, my God. They've got loads of settlements. So, of course, we're going to go back and take Alexandria Marginai from Nisa with that army. Then we're going to go up to Charicar Charicharta. Or Karakata. Take that off the Parthians. And then, yeah, we'll go after Bactria. This region especially is nice and juicy. A lot of settlements in that region. One thing we're going to have to worry about is once we've taken, say, Bactria... Bactria, Zariaspa, and then go on to Oxiana. They're going to come from this way and start sieging us down. So we might have to go through, take them, and then have to retake them on the way back as well, which will be a bit brutal. Um, but around this region, we can see... Oh, we do have Atlata there. This is actually quite a good way of seeing where the settlements are. I don't think we're going to go down south. I don't think that's necessary. With the army that we've got in Alexandria, we are going to go and take Raithu. We'll probably try and take Petra, Bostra, and Palmyra as well before retraining at Antioch and then going north into Cappadocian territory and squaring off the rest of Anatolia uh, while this army goes to Crete and takes Crete. Um, and then, once they've taken Crete, we can look at consolid consolidating Alexander's homeland of actual of Greece. And uh, that is going to be a big mess. There's going to be a lot of full stacks in there, guys. So that's going to be some brutal fighting. Really brutal fighting. Uh, as we continue down the Nile, trying to beat the Ptolemies' last reserves of settlements. So, yeah, we're in a great position. And next uh, next episode, we'll do a bit of a ranking thing. We'll do the Toggle Fog of War. So you can see exactly um, where we are up to in terms of our power and strength in the world. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Comment down below um, what you want to comment. And thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And I'll see you all again on the next video.